Leo, Leo, Leo. There's a tone. Hi, Leo. Thank you for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to do a weekend weekly forecast for you, Leo, Leo, Leo. I will hold the cards up since the uh, camera is oriented away from the table showing me today. So thank you so much for stopping. I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can. I hope you'll stay for the whole video. Leo, Leo, Leo. We're going to throw uh, tarot, destiny, and uh, oracle. So here we go. Leo, Leo. Messages for Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Messages for... Okay, so if you're um, having some insomnia, Leo, come on. Get some, uh, some meditation in, some breathing exercises. Tune out that brain. Messages, messages. Leo, Leo, Leo. Here we go. Leo, Leo. First three cards are all about you, Leo. Look at that. You got the Seven of Wands right out of the gate. The Seven of Wands for me is the unicorn. It's the card of doing your best. And if you are, good for you, Leo. It will pay off. Leo, 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 Leo. All right, we're going to throw the cards now. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, sorry, I got to wait till I hear the word go. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, here we are. First energy. <laughs> Leo, well, it was worth the wait. So, Leo, there's faded love around you. Faded. You know, when I talk about the Two of Cups, I mean you have faded love around you, faded relationships. Uh, when I talk about the Two of Cups, I'm not saying you're going to be, if you have a faded relationship, it has to stay faded, together, connected, nailed down forever. No, it just means you have faded relationships, relationships that are going to change you. And they're going to change the other person too. They're meant to happen. Next, we have the energy of another two, the two of pentacles. Hearing from someone, getting some news, finding more balance around your relationships, balancing your faded relationships with your work. You know, if you have a relationship and a, a, a job that keeps you busy, busy, you know, trying to find the, the, the happy medium, so to speak. Uh, the energy of the Knight of Cups. If you're looking for love, new relationships, it's here. There are energies showing up around you directly of possible faded relationships crossing your path or making a roundabout coming back. So if you have someone that you've had a, a relationship with and you didn't, you know, di didn't get where you wanted to go, you may be receiving news from them. They may be making offers to you. They may cross your path and you make offers to them. This is the energy of the Eight of Swords. It's a standard, easy, it's a stress that you can deal with until something else comes along to distract you from it. It's no big deal. This is the energy of the seeking the truth, uh, dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This is the energy of the Six of Wands. It's a beautiful card, um, absolutely the energy of victory. Uh, it is your karma and fate for the weekend. It's a positive, positive energy. Wow, I love that. You have positive energy of victories around you. If you are making new relationships, uh, connecting with relationships that have been on a pause uh, with any sun sign, but especially with an air sign. The energy of the Ace of Swords, listen to your intuition, okay? Pay attention to your inner voice. The energy of the Eight of Wands, you could be falling in love this weekend, absolutely, or falling back in love. It's going to be a fast-paced weekend. Things are going to move quickly. This is an unknown variable that may show up for some of you Leos, and it is the energy of Earth. Someone uh, around you that uh, something may happen with them, somebody new, old, or family, or some relationship that is within your grasp. Uh, may show up. Uh, there may be some material outcomes that you're looking for. Uh, earth energies, uh, if they are, this energy is a, a person. It would be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. 
If not, if you're trying to accomplish something financially, listen to your intuition and it's going to be a fast paced moving uh, weekend in regards to going into next week and dealing with your finances. Finally, we have the energy of the eight of pentacles. Wow. This is positive. You've got the potion. You've got what it need, you know, what's needed to succeed materially. And one more card is the energy of the chariot. I love this card. It's so beautiful. So this is a Cancer or a Sagittarius, but it's also the chariot. You know what you want and that's half the battle. So you're charging towards it. Make sure that the, you know, your guidance and your connection with your will is connected with a divine uh, and you're both on the same path and it'll be much easier. On the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of the 10 of swords. So you're going to get a lot of sticks in your back, a lot of stress to deal with this weekend going into next week. That's okay. You got this. Let's throw a few oracles. Leo, Leo, Leo. Le uh, excuse me. A few destiny cards. Leo, Leo, Leo. Messages. The first three cards will be all about you, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. This is the energy of the diamond. So this, uh, this is an energy that says that, you know, you have a great business sense right now, whatever it is you're dealing with, whether you work or you don't, you know, you have abilities to be a problem sol solver, to figure things out, make deals. Healing is around you. If you have somebody in your life or you yourself are trying to recover from something, the energy is moving around you. Uh, the energy of pay your bills, you're going to have to anyway. So, you know, if you try to shirk any bills, they're not going away. Uh, the energy of the nine of hearts, the wish card here, the energy of someone around you, possibly an air sign who may have some health uh, issues or some circumstances around health that could be healing or you, you're just getting starting with dealing with them. Or it could also be you, Leo. Take care of yourself. Karma and fate and destiny for the Leo. Oh, wow. Don't overthink it, Leo. Uh, you know, if you're being a little bit obsessive about something and you're just thinking, 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 it's not going to get there any quicker. Then we have the energy of spending. Don't overspend. If you see something really shiny and beautiful you can't afford, you can't afford it. Uh, wow. Hard work. Love. You're a great parent. If you have any family, uh, even if you just have cats or dogs or goldfish, you take care of them and they love you. Final energy uh, is the energy of a very social, uh, and the ability of, to pull people toward you and be very social. And this card on the bottom says that some of you Leos are making a lot of sacrifices for love right now, or you're willing to. All right, here we go. Uh, let's give you an oracle. Wow, okay, it came right out. Uh, we got... No, it is not time yet. Okay, Leo, this is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. Okay, Leo, look at that. Take your time. Step back. Wait. The energy will come toward you. Okay, Leo, this is Blue Hill Tarot. That's uh, my little kitty baby carrying her toy around and she talks to it. All right, thank you so much for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. Have a great weekend. Stop by my live stream this weekend or next week, and let me talk to you live. Take care. Oh.